can't take it no more. Take it. Can't deal with you right now. My name's Catherine. If you're new to my channel, I am recently a mom. Eight months ago is when I had my baby, and if you're a mom or are just now becoming a mom, you know that there's not really a lot of time for you time. I used to work out before having a baby every single day, sometimes twice a day, sometimes before work, sometimes after work. Um, but with having a baby, it's just been a lot different with my schedule and it's hard to find time to go to the gym. So I've just really implemented healthy lifestyle um, changes, which I've kind of already had before I was pregnant, but really implementing them after having Kyra. Um, and I know everybody's body type is way different, but I want to show you guys kind of what my body's looking like now. Um, so I'll show you in a minute here. Um, just like my full body on how it's looking post um, partum. But I wanted to give you guys some tips on what I have done to stay in shape and how to lose weight after having a baby. I was... Uh, I'm normally like 110 pounds or so. I'm four foot nine, so I'm really, really short. Um, but with after, like at the very end of my pregnancy, I was 136 pounds, I guess. So I gained a lot of weight for me. Like that was quite a bit. I mostly gained it though in my belly and like swelling and everything like that. So I definitely um, wasn't used to like that body weight with my body. Um, and keep in mind, I'm four foot nine, so I'm super, super short. Everything looks a lot more compacted. <laughs> but the first uh, tip that I would say that I did to stay in shape was every single morning, I drink a full water bottle and then I drink a tea. The tea that I've been drinking, um, and before I spring it, I drank this as well. It's called Celsius tea. You don't have to drink this. Like, it's just, I like it. It gives me energy. And then also, it's another drink besides water. In the mornings, I always intermittent fast. So, I don't eat breakfast. Sometimes on the weekends, I do. Or if I go to brunch with a friend. Or, but I always try to drink as many liquids as I can. And, like, health shots. Which, another health shot that I have been currently using is this one. I just get it from Sprouts. I'm sure they have them at Whole Foods too. Maybe Trader Joe's. I don't know. I don't know if they have them at a regular grocery store though. But I just pack in the liquids as much as I can. It helps get my digestive system going. It helps me feel um, refreshed and not sluggish. And it gives me energy just having a bunch of liquids in my body. Then about around like 11 or 12 depending on the day is when I'll have my first meal. I always try to have um, protein and veggies with it. I try not to have like sugar as the first meal. So, you know, like pancakes or things like that. Like I try to eat pretty healthy for that first meal. And then I'm not really a snacker. I don't really snack. So yeah, but I intermittent fast. I guess that would be my next tip. But again, it all depends on your body type. and how you react to different things. I don't suggest doing intermittent fasting if your doctor told you not to or whatever, but just kind of find what's good for you. Um, my second tip after drinking a bunch of water is to eat smaller meals. So when you have your lunch or your dinner, if you buy something from a place, a lot of time people just clear off their whole plate and eat their whole plate because like, I don't know, you paid for it, so why not eat it, right? But I feel like I just eat till I'm not hungry anymore, and once I'm satisfied, then I'm good. I don't eat to where I'm, like, full, and I'm like, ugh, I'm full. Like, that definitely doesn't make me feel good about myself or energy-wise, so I just really try to listen to my body. Listening to your body is very important, whether it's, um, you know, you need more sleep or more exercise or more food or more water. Listen to your body and try to really understand how your body works or if you have different allergens to certain foods, try to um, really pay attention to those. I would say my third tip is I don't eat a lot of dairy. I try to stay away from it for the most part. Sometimes I have cheeses or uh, things like that, but I don't drink milk. I rarely have ice cream. It's 
very like a rare occasion if I do. <laughs> um, just try to stay away from main dairy items because they make you bloated. At least it does for me. That's what I what I've found out. It doesn't do it for everybody. Um, four is try to walk with your baby. Like I know it's hard to go to a gym or to you know, take an hour, I just need to work out for an hour. I know it's hard to do that, especially if you're a working mom and you, as soon as you get home, you're going to your kids or to your kid and helping them with what they need. I would say, um, you know, go on walks during, after, in the evening once you get off work or if you're a stay-at-home mom, I know that's really hard too. You know, go on walks with your kids, go to the, go to the park and play some basketball with them or something like that. Just really try to be active or, you know, if you're doing organization jobs in your house, be doing some squats in between or lifting stuff. Like, just try to really be active in different areas. You don't have to go full blown out, lifting heavy, all that different stuff, you know. Just try to keep your body active. That's one thing for me that it's, I've done with Kyra a lot is I go on walks all the time used to go every single day and recently like weather's kind of been here so we haven't gone on walks every day but I try to go on walks as much as I can with her and pushing her in the stroller is kind of a workout um so yeah I would say get active when you can I would say my, another tip is to try to get sleep when you can I know it's hard because like for me Kyra wakes up few times during the night cries a little bit and I put her passy back in she's fine like she doesn't need you know another bottle or diaper change or anything like that but she still wakes up and it wakes me up so I feel like I've been a very light sleeper since having Kyra because I'm so focused on is she okay <laughs> and she sleeps in my bed so it's easier I don't have to get up in the middle of the night go to her room put her passy in for now it's just her and I so she sleeps in my bed and it's really worked out for me that way, but just try to get sleep when you can. Maybe it's going to bed earlier, because I know I have to get up early every day. I get up at 6 or 5.30 every day, so the earlier I get in bed, the better. <laughs> Another tip that I would say is try not to stress as much as you can. Try to eliminate different stress areas in your life, because for me, that's probably one of the worst things I'm, I've been good at I guess I'm not very good at controlling my emotions recently so I've been really I'm trying to work on that <laughs> um but yeah I know there's a lot of hard things that everybody's gone through this year in personal life and the world overall and I know it's it's definitely a stressful time to live in so just try to do things whether it's you know take a bath with like some bath salts or a bath um, kind of thing and just listen to music or have a glass of wine or just do different things for yourself that helps you de-stress because you are a person who's taking care of other people because you're a mom or if you're a single dad um, but make sure that you take care of yourself so that you can take care of your little ones because if you're stressed out all the time and yelling at your kids or whatever that's not going to help them you know so to be able to be the best mom you can and um love yourself and like i don't know just really take care of your body and mind you need to de-stress and really try your best to um focus on what those stresses are so that you can eliminate them but yeah um, another thing is I've been working out at home, going back to the um, being active part. I use these pretty much every other day is kind of when my work is, <laughs> workouts have been, but they're just these cloth resistance bands. I got them from Target, so I'll link them down below if I can find them, but this is, they have two of them, one's a heavy and one's a medium, but um, I do a lot of different exercises with that. I'll come out with more at-home workouts for you guys because I know that a lot of people don't have time for doing the really long workouts. So I can, you know, incorporate, you know, a 20-minute workout for you guys into a vlog or 
into just a workout itself um, video. But yeah, I would say those are my things that I do for de-stressing, or not de-stressing, to lose weight, so that is de-stressing, obviously. But um, those are the things I do to lose weight and to stay fit and stay active and to be in shape so that I have that, you know, milf body, you feel me? Um, but yeah, I'll show you guys my body real quick just so you can see what it looks like. Um, but yeah. Okay, so this is what my body is looking like. You can see the side, back a little bit. Um, my stomach, as you can see, like my abs, or it's like defined, it's defined, right? <laughs> But if I come a little bit closer, you can see how my skin is just a little stretched. There's not really anything you can do about that unless you do like, you know, different treatments and things. And over time, um, your skin kind of goes back. But that's kind of just what it is like right now. But I'm lucky that my skin has gone back. It's just a little stretched out. A lot of people don't even get these little crazy stretch marks that I got, where it looks like a little sun. It looks like my belly button was pierced or something. That's how my skin is. <laughs> but yeah, that's what the front is looking like. A little bit farther back, that's what my sides are looking like. You can see my upper body has lost weight. Lower body is good. I really just want to get back in shape to feel good about myself and feel like Sexy again. I don't know. I feel like that's a huge part of self-confidence is feeling good about whatever body you're in is loving it and accepting it and making your health better each day. This is kind of just what the back is looking like. I didn't really get like stretch marks on my legs or anything. Honestly, just on my belly. My belly was huge. I'll see if I can. I'm not very good at editing stuff, so I'll see if I can add in like a a little picture from what my belly looked like when I was pregnant because it was huge but yeah that is my body worked pretty hard to get to where it is now just being consistent with my health habits and just really really focusing on taking care of my body trying to get sleep with when Kyra is sleeping trying to really focus on drinking lots of liquids and just being active when I can. I haven't been intense working out, like I really haven't. I've joined the gym a couple weeks ago, it was like a month ago or so. Was consistent for like two weeks, working out every single day on my lunch break. And I don't know, I just feel like it's stressing me out a little bit more just because the gym kind of gives me anxiety just with so many people there. And I used to work there, so I know a lot of people and I don't know, like, it's, I feel more comfortable about, comfortable around like my friends there and everything, but when I don't know people, I get just super anxious. I don't know, it's just how I am. But yeah, but that is my body. And if you are a new mom, please don't um, compare my body to your body. Your body will get to where you want it to be eventually. I'm not completely where I want to be either, but I worked hard to get to where I am right now. And also, I'll show you guys my C-section scar real quick too, because I know a lot of women got C-sections, but that's what my C-section scar looks like. But yeah, I kind of like it. So I'm going to be wearing bikinis and stuff that kind of show it off. But don't feel bad about it if you got a C-section about your scar. Like your scars make you who you are. They kind of tell your story, you know. But yeah, that's that is my postpartum, eight months postpartum body and just kind of how I've gotten back in shape. And I hope you guys can relate to me on that. Um, if you have any requests for videos, just link them down below in the comment box. Comment them down below. Not link them, you feel me. But <laughs> yeah, I hope you guys have a good, positive day, you feel me. <laughs> um, but yeah, that is just my body and what it's looking like and all that good stuff <laughs> um, i kind of want to start doing some trial hauls soon because i'll be feeling good about my body again you feel me but yeah i will have kyra in the next video i promise it's a weekly vlog i have a lot of new stuff to show you guys and 
I want to just thank you if you have followed me for a while or are just now following me and I hope that I can spread love and positivity to you and just be somebody you can relate to. Uh, yeah, I'm not rich. I work hard for my money. I don't really get much off of YouTube of pay-wise. It's more so just like to inspire people that you're not alone. Life's hard, but you can get through it and things are going to be okay, okay? <laughs> so, yeah. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.